All right, so we are continuing with exercise 13.1. So it's time to do question number 27. So 27, 28, 29 are similar kind of questions. So 27 is 4x square plus 9y square plus 16z square. All right, plus 12xy plus 24yz plus 16zx. Okay, this is the question. So, 4x square is 2x whole square, 9y whole square is 3y whole square, and 16z square is 4z whole square. Okay. Now, after that, 12xy can be written as 2 into y6 into 3y. 2 into 2 is 4, 4 into 3, 12, 12xy, isn't it? Plus 2 into now 3y into 4z because that is equal to 24yz plus 2 into 4z into 2x then because 4 into 2 is 8 8 into 2 is 16 16zx now imagine this is a this is b this is c so this is a this is b isn't it this is b this is c this is c and this is a just imagine so ultimately this is what a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca and we know that is equal to a plus b plus c whole square so a plus b plus c whole square done very very simple just the use of this formula. All right. Now let's move on to question number twenty-eight. Now question number twenty-eight, similar kind of question. So I'll add x whole square, sixteen y square is four y whole square, and twenty-five z square is five z whole square. Okay. Plus, if you remember the formula, a square plus b square plus c square plus two ab. So a into b plus 2bc 2 into b into c plus 2ca 2 into c into a however there is a problem the problem is minus 40yz it was minus 40yz isn't it so but we are getting plus 40yz so what we'll do now this term is negative and this term is negative, right? So we have 40yz is negative and 10xz is negative, isn't it? So what is the common form here? Which variable? Z. So here I have z, here I have z. That means this z will be negative. That means wherever you have z, you have to write as negative. So minus 5z, this is negative. And here this will be negative, minus 5z. And here this will be negative. Understood? Understood trick, I believe. So now this is a square plus b square plus c square like that. So a plus b a plus b plus c whole square. So a plus b plus but ultimately minus so minus 5z whole square. Then so you have to understand the trick. The two terms which are negative, I have to take out the common variable. Alright. Let's try one more. Let's go to question number 29. Now 29, 4x whole square is 2x whole square, 16y is 4y whole square, and this is z whole square. Done. Plus 2 into a into b, plus 2 into b into c, plus 2 into c into a. Now here this is negative and this is negative x y and z x what is common x so x will be negative so minus 2 x minus 2 x and minus 2 x okay so a plus b plus c whole square so a plus b plus c whole square isn't it very very easy all right so that is 27 28 and 29 all are similar type of questions Next video, we shall begin from question number 30.